Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friend, No Way. I wanted to talk today a little bit about life and how people think it's so complicated. Well, the only ones that make it complicated are, well, you yourself. There are many things in this world that they're not complicated. Once you think about it and learn about it, it's, it's pretty simple. The only ones that make it complicated are the ones that want to control your life. Yeah, my uh, my companion, the, the little puppy, or she's not little anymore, she's a good-sized dog. It's the people that make your life complicated are the ones that have an agenda. They want to make your life complicated because they want you to look to them for the solution. But the solution that they're going to give you is not in your best interest. Why are so many things being lied about today? Why, are, why is the truth being hidden? Because there is an agenda. We can see that playing out around the world. All these politicians and these media talking heads, sorry for the, the vehicles, but they say one thing and demand that you do a thing a certain way, but then they want, they do whatever they want, because they know it's all a lie. We know it's a lie. We know that this certain thing that they are demanding everybody do and they want everybody to do is harming people. So they're complicating people's lives. So you will comply with them and do whatever they want you to do. I mean, look at the life of a dog. See? She's having a blast. Lola! Life's not complicated for her now. Life's not complicated for her now, is it? It's not complicated for her at all. Okay? You know, when... When my son first got the, the dog, and yes, it was very hard. You, you have the responsibility but you have the opportunity to train the dog. Train the dog so the dog listens and the dog does what you need this, this dog to do. Once that little training session and stuff starts coming to an end, then life is simple once again. Hey, she just carefree. People, you need to understand that there is a, an agenda. And it's not for your best interest. There are many people out there that they don't understand it. It's beyond their comprehension. They sit down, they watch the propaganda, and they believe everything they're told. Because they don't know God. They, they don't. They don't know God. Once you know God and you understand God's concept and God's, God's laws of freedom and liberty and doing good for other people, then your life is pretty simple. The only time it's complicated is when you make it complicated. Or when you allow somebody else to interfere with your life and make it complicated. Life's not complicated. Over here. This is a race car. It's a race car that was never raced because it's used as a show car. It's very fancy. It's got a big fancy engine. 
Now, my son did blow the engine. Okay? You may think it's complicated to rebuild this engine. But it's not. It, it's not as hard as you may think. Once, once you learn, once you learn about this kind of thing, then to do it and fix it and build, rebuild a, a new engine, it, it's not as hard. It's time consuming and you have to pay attention. It's just like your life. You have to pay attention to what's going on. You have to stop allowing other people to make up your mind for you. Just because you saw it on TV does not make it real. Do you know that our own government gave the media the right to lie to you? Why, in 1986, did the CIA director come right out and make the statement of, We will know the disinformation program is complete when everything the American people know to be true is false. And everything people strongly believe in today that is true is false. They steal, fraud, and manipulate people. The biggest thing you have to do is get your children out of these indoctrination centers. You, you have to. They are destroying the youth to control the world tomorrow. And anybody that is allowing these school systems to destroy the future of their children, then you have nobody to blame but yourself. It's that simple. You really need to pay attention to what is going on. There is a reason why they are pushing this certain thing. And you know what it is. They're pushing it harder than a, hero, a heroin dealer pushes you to take his drug. Because the more you take his drug, the more you want that drug. And the more money and power he has over your life. We are no longer being allowed to make up our own mind because these delusional people that call themselves a government want to control you. And if you look at certain agendas around the world, you will know why 90 to 95 percent of the population of the world must die. They're all done. They don't want this freedom. They don't want you to, to live a life and have a life and have things. No. They're that greedy that they want it. They want it for themselves. And they need the slaves to provide it for them. They're very delusional, sick-minded people. Very. And this all has to stop. And it will not stop unless you stop it. There are people out there. Why does the Bible teach us to turn from these egotistical, high-minded liars, deceivers? Because if we continue to dwell with them, then we will become like them. Turn from these people. I know it's hard, but you can't keep feeding their delusion. You can't, you can't continue to feel like you can help them change. They're not going to change. They get up in the morning and they turn on their fake news and their propaganda and they hate you. Because some propagandists told them to hate you. Why did they hate Jesus so bad? 
because Jesus was a threat to their authority and their power over the people. And the people believed their leaders. So they hated Jesus as well. But what happened because the truth kept being told, not just by Jesus, but by many other people? It caught on. Now, here, 2,000 years later, many, many people believe in Jesus. But because of the corruption of our society and our churches and our government, people now do not even believe in God the way God wanted to be, us to believe in Him. They don't believe that truth anymore because it doesn't fit their egotistical mentality. We have to learn that life is not complicated. We have to stop complicating our own lives. Once we stop complicating our lives, it all falls into place. And we can be like the carefree puppy of eight months. See? She knows life is simple. She's got a good life. She'll lay there and chew on that stick that she found. and She's happy. And that's what we have to do. We have to set back and stop letting others dictate our life. You have nothing to be ashamed about. Nothing. It doesn't matter what people think of you. They don't pay your mortgage. They don't pay your bills. They don't buy your food. Nothing. Does it really matter what somebody you, that you don't know? Does it really matter what they think of you? No. It doesn't. <laughs> Boy, she destroyed that. Come here. Come on up, say hi. Look, look, say hi. <laughs> but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Stop allowing people to complicate your life. And you will see that your life will be that much better and that much calmer, that much more relaxed without allowing other people to destroy your life. Stop listening to these people because it will be your soul. It will be your life. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is no way out.